Good morning and welcome to Christians, aren't she? A beginner's guide to meditation. <laughs> My name is Ron Heinrichs. I'm the host of this show. And this is Saturday morning of the Easter weekend. Back at home for the weekend. And the temperature is supposed to be just gorgeous. We're going to melt some snow, finally. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're down in the main studio here. We're going to enjoy the weekend. Now... Uh, I'm always referring to verse Isaiah 40 verse 31 as my reason for doing this show. It's all those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will rise up with wings like eagles, run and not be weary. They'll walk and not faint. Amen. But that is just one little, very little fragmented piece of the Bible. <clears throat> Even though that is my <laughs> premise for this show, the uh, little devotional this morning kind of ties in with, with that. Let's give it a go this morning. The big story of the Bible. When Colin opened the box of stained glass pieces he'd purchased, Instead of finding the fragments he'd ordered for a project, he discovered intact whole windows. He sleuthed out the window's origin and learned they'd been removed from a church to protect them from World War II bombings. Colin marveled at the quality of work and how the fragments formed a beautiful picture. If I'm honest, there are times when I open particular passages of the Bible, such as chapters containing lists of genealogies, and I don't immediately see how they fit within the bigger picture of Scripture, such as such is the case with Genesis 11, a chapter that contains a repetitive cadence of unfamiliar names and their families, such as Shem, Shelah, Eber, Nahor, and Terah. I'm often tempted to gloss over these sections and skip to a part that contains something that feels familiar and fits more easily into my window of understanding of the Bible's narratives. Since all scripture is God-breathed and is useful, uh, the Holy Spirit can help us better understand how a fragment fits into the whole, opening our eyes to see, for example, how Shelah is related to Abram, the ancestor of David, and more importantly, Jesus. He delights in surprising us with the treasure of a perfectly intact window where even the smallest parts reveal the story of God's mission throughout the Bible. Why is it important to recognize each portion of Scripture as a fragment of God's bigger picture? Father, please help me to see you and your work more clearly, to grow deeper in your understanding of the Bible. Amen. So there you have it. Even though my show is based solely on Isaiah 40 verse 31 that is just a fragment and you really need to do more studying <laughs> more devotion to get the whole picture but like I said we're uh my focus is on waiting on the Lord, the meditation time, 
and the baby steps we're working on. Uh, a little devotional time, a little stretching time, a little verse memori memorizing time. Those are all steps that'll lead you to a meditation. And uh, yeah, I'm still contemplating uh, whether we should do a little research on becoming supernatural with Dr. Joe Dispenza. It's how common people are doing the uncommon. Yeah, we might tie into this a little bit yet too. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy the weekend watching that snow melt. It's been a long winter. And, uh,. <laughs> I'm ready for some warmth. <sighs> you all have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.